Shalom, everyone. I'm going to introduce you to my dual chamber rocket stove. Come on, baby. So you want a rocket stove because it is the most efficient burning and heating thing that you can use if we have an EMP attack or your electricity is out for some reason and you need to cook. This is the best, most economy way to go. You don't have to have logs and cut wood. You use sticks. And the way this is designed with a Venturi action, these sticks will burn longer and make less smoke to draw awareness to you, which you don't want if there's a grid breakdown because you don't want people to know where there's a food source, where cooking is going on and that sort of thing. It'll draw people to you and they'll steal what you got. Okay y'all, these three bottom bricks here are your base and the um, vertical one here and these horizontal ones here, these, these are all where your stove is where your sticks go in, your chambers, your air chambers to create a venturi um, for more efficient burning. And so I made this here, this you open up to be able to get to the ashes and clean the ashes out. And so anyways, I got this, this uh, grate here that I put on the top to sit the pots and pans on and you can look down there and see where your sticks are. See how that works? So let me, uh, and th this brick right here, I just laid to cover these, these uh, holes up, because we're not using those. So see, and here's this side, I'm just showing you how the sticks go all the way through, and this is where it burns. This is your burn chamber. So as your sticks burn in the burn chamber, and they get shorter, you just push the sticks in more and more as they burn and then you keep adding see I got a bunch of twigs and then you just keep adding more sticks and feeding them in but they don't burn as fast as you think they would this is very efficient a very good way to cook so okay y'all I got my fire still here and I've got dryer lint that I use for tinder and uh, tucked down in the chambers here and I'm just going to show you kind of how we get these things started up Oop, there we go all right, y'all, we got the fire going, see? And we're gonna go ahead and put the grate on here. And get this stuff going. Okay, y'all, so here we go. Now you can add more chambers to this setup to where you can have more pots. You can put a kettle on, you can boil a pot of water on another one. It just however many chambers you want to build and add to this. So as this finished cooks cooking, I think you get the idea. All right, y'all, there you go. And you got a nice little brick pad there to put your hot pans and pots to sit them on after you get done cooking. So uh, there you have it, rocket stove. I know you might have some better ideas of how to do this and you're welcome to let me know. So anyways, may the most high richly bless you.